Hi everyone, so this is just a quick uh, demonstration of a little project that I've been working on. It's actually a project for one of my assignments, so I can't share the code or anything, but I'll just talk you through what it does. So we've got a STM32 nuclear board here. It's the F401RE, and then we've got connected to it an LCD screen with uh, an IC that drives the LCD. And then over here, we've got a temperature sensor IC, which is a DS1631 sensor, just there with two resistors. And then we've got four push buttons here. This one controls the hour setting on my clock. This one controls the minutes. This one controls the seconds. And this one controls the ability to set the setting. So right over here now, we've got temperature being displayed on the top, so 27 degrees. If I put my hand on the IC, you're going to see the temperature immediately starts to rise. And I found it's actually super accurate as well, which is amazing. So as it's rising, if I remove my finger and then it will start to drop down again very quickly. And so you can see here the clock has been updated. Currently, I set this clock about 26 hours ago now. And uh, it's very, very accurate. So 340, 340. And I haven't had to adjust it at all. Been very, very good actually. So what I'll do now is if I press this button here, we'll reset the program. And there you go. So the program's been reset. And then what the program's going to do is going to wait until I enter the time. So what I could do is I could just hit set here and it's going to start the time from midnight. So let's say it was midnight now. I can just press this button and then now the program starts ticking away again. So if I want to actually set the time now, so if we say, okay, it's 3.41, what I can do is if I reset the program, and then now if I press this hour button, you can see that it's incrementing in real time the hour button I'm pressing. So for me right now, it is 3.42 in the morning. So I've done the hour one. I can now press the minutes one, and I can press it quite fast. I've got a debounce on each one of these buttons. So... Even when I press it really fast, it doesn't count more than one press, which is really nice. And I can also hold down the button, and then it will just still carry on incrementing the minute timer. So we want to get this to 3.42. There we go. And if it's still 3.42, yes it is. Let's uh, increment some sec seconds onto there. So again, I could just hold it down. And let's say it takes over to 3.43, which uh, it should do any minute now. What I'll do is I'll just increase this to 3.43. And let's see whenever it does take over to... Okay, we'll update that anyways. So, once that... Okay, there you go, 3.43. So hit set. And there you go, the program's good to go. And like I said, it's very accurate. I've let it run for um, over over a day, 25, 25 hours and uh, or 26 hours now. And yeah, it's been very, very accurate. So another really cool feature which I've done is that when I set the time, let's say I make it, let's go with uh, 11 and then let's go to 59. And obviously I can include some more buttons here to be able to go down as well. But if I if I go to eleven fifty nine, it's taking a while to get there, but again, like I said, I could uh press it or I can hold it down, which I'll show you on the second time now. So 11.59, and then if I hold this down here, the seconds. We'll just do this up to like 11.59, 50 seconds in. And then you're going to see that it will tick over perfectly as well. So the way that it does that is I've just got an if statement saying that once the second variable, the one that, the variable that's holding the seconds, once that reaches more than 59, reset it back to zero and increment the minutes. So now if I hit set, 59, and then boom, over to 12. And likewise, I've got the same feature on the 12. So 
if I set the time again, but this time let's make it 23. Twenty three and then I have to make this uh twenty three fifty nine <laughs> which is gonna take some time. So yeah that would be an additional feature. <laughs> I can make it so that we could go if we could go downwards, which would be super easy to implement, just another row of push buttons here. Let's make this twenty three fifty nine. And actually, I'm I'm able to do both, so I can go backwards and forwards and increment the second counter, and I can do the hold them both down at the same time, and the both increment as well, which is really nice. So let's make this 59, and then hold this down here. And so we're going to watch it so that whenever this uh, reaches 24, then it will reset. Here we go. So set. And it works really well. 23, 59, 53. And then there you go. Straight to zero. So it, it, it never actually stops on 24 because we're saying that. Not once the 23 is over 23, but once it's uh, 24, then immediately reset back to zero, start a new day. So yeah, right now, as this is, it works very, very well. I'm very, very happy with the buttons. You know, there's a lot that can be done to this, and I've got some, some cool ideas of what to do. I'd like to stream the temp temperature data to a cloud. I'd also like to add some more buttons to make it so that you can go downwards. I'd also like to add like an RGB LED that could tell you when it, you know, the temperature is below 20 degrees. You know, make it go blue. If it's above 30 degrees, make it go red. So yeah, got some good things coming for this. Sorry I can't share the codes from my assessment, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying what we're doing on the STM32. Cool guys, see you in the next one.